Hello guys, as you can see I'm currently playing Cyberpunk. I left the upscaling to the Intel one at automatic. As you can see I have path tracing on, which is pretty heavy on the GPU side as you know. My current GPU is the 7800 XT from AMD. Everything else is at max settings, as you can see here. I'm playing at 1440p and for testing purposes I'm leaving the frame rate capped at 20 fps so you can see the difference between 20 and 60 fps when I turn on lossless scaling frame generation. First I'm going to show you how the game looks at 20 fps. Right, uh, 20 fps is pretty choppy, it plays really bad, it feels really bad to play, it hurts my eyes, you know, it's barely unplayable at 20 fps. As you can see, as I move my screen around, it's pretty choppy. It's pretty bad. Now I'm gonna turn on lossless scaling frame generation at three times the frame generation. Alright, now I'm playing 60 fps. It's magic, just like that. <laughs> frame generation is working, there's barely any input lag because as you can see my GPU utilization is below 100% so there is no heavy load on the GPU and lossless scaling can work much better so as you can see it's, it's basically 60 FPS it, it feels really good to play there's a little bit of artifacting when I move the camera around but it's barely noticeable it's definitely much more playable than 20 FPS. It's it's incredible how well lossless scaling works. This new update is is pretty good. The, the better the base frame rate you have, the more FPS you're gonna get from frame generation. You can basically go from 48 FPS to 144 if you have a screen that supports it. It's, it it feels really good. This is. This is basically the future for me. <laughs> it's it really, really, really good. As you can see, Cyberpunk at 20 to 60 FPS with path tracing on at 1440p with an AMD graphic card. There you go.